Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for November 26, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern, a little after. Uh, we're getting things around for uh, those outside of the U.S. who are wishing to order liquid gold. Uh, we've, we've got an application, you know, a way to do that so that we can get this into the hands of as many people as possible. Uh, the results of it are starting to pour in as far as the uh, effects. And, and one thing I want to make clear is that each body is different. And so the subtle effects of this, because it comes in very subtly, and as things take place, you know, you might experience different things in the body because, you know, when, when the blood is being purified and the arteries are being cleared, um, you're going to get probably some pains here and there and uh, where, you know, things haven't been moving correctly for quite some time that then begin to move. Uh, it's, you know, things begin to open up that haven't been opened up. Uh, you're going to see, you're going to have some uh, adjustments in the physicality uh, arena. Nothing severe, but some people uh, will have that. It just depends on, you know, how clocked up they are. So, um, but we have that taken care of, and uh, we're going to start processing people and getting uh, product ordered for them. We have to order it, We then we receive it. And then uh, we then ship it off to them with the funds that they send us, that we tell them how much it's going to cost with shipping. Then they PayPal that to us, and then we pay for it, and then we get it, and then we ship it to them. So it's about a two-week turnaround. Because we got people that are requesting it from all over the planet as the word gets out. You know, it's interesting that... Uh, a lot of us will um, suffer. And, you know, in certain aspects, we look at suffering as experience. So, we are all free to leave this experience called suffering in any moment, any time we wish. We don't have to experience suffering. And we already have an, uh, you know, get out of jail pass. And we just forgot how to use it. The key to opening this door, this magical door, is learning how to surrender to the source of who you are. It's always about surrendering to what, who and what you are. It's never anything else. And this, this, it's, this starts to sink into the civilization of this planet then things will really, really start to shift for each and every one of us that do this, that have decided for ourselves that this is the only way. Every other avenue has been tried with civilizations on this planet Earth for a very long time. And it, it, there's no other way. It is always about the journey within yourself. You, 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 literally let go of all of these ridiculous beliefs and judgments about who you think you are and what you believe your life should be. We only have two paths. And one is either the, the choosing the path of ego or surrender. It's, now, it's either one or the other, always one or the other. Now, if you choose surrender, there will be a deep, deep, deep uh, oceanic experience of life bubbling up naturally within your being. Now, this experience is utter bliss, and it's awaiting each and every one of us right now, and that's if we choose the path to surrender. And... The path to surrender is found through deep trust in the perfection of everything that is showing up in your life. The universe.
universe is beyond, beyond, beyond intelligent to make any mistakes. We, each of us, is not a mistake. We are not a mistake. We come from the divine. God is our origin. We must give up this selfish game of judgment and recognize our divinity. It's the polar opposite of our humanity. Okay? It is the polar opposite of our humanity. And this is something that's been banged into us from the beginning over and over again. How many times have you, well, you've got to fight, you've got to scrape, you've got to work hard, you've got to do this. We never have to fight our way through any experience in life. That's why I talk about, the, you know, the boat on the water with no oars. And you just let the stream take you. You don't fight the current. Most people on this planet are fighting the current. And by the time they get to where they think they want to be, they're so exhausted, they don't have the energy to complete the journey. We always have the opportunity. It is always there for us to surrender to source. Always. Doesn't go away. You don't have a certain window. It's always there and available for us to choose. And we have this inner battle that goes on with us, each of us, incessantly, forever and ever. And we can give this up, literally, this inner battle, and just just at the top of our lungs, holler out a big yes to life and be free from the attachment to solving our problems. We don't have to fix ourselves or solve any problems in this world. These problems are creations of our minds and just opportunities for a dear, deeper spiritual awakening. There are situations our soul is designed for us to let go of our ego on a deeper, deeper, deeper level and melt more completely into this divine existence that we are. Each of you has a new awareness already breathing inside you now. Our lives are already amazing. And they become even more powerful when we learn the fine art of giving the steering wheel over to the God. And we're open to explore a different kind of life that is beyond the countless have to's, need to's, and should's that have been drowning us. This world is just waiting for us to fully enjoy it now. Now, not tomorrow, not yesterday, but now, we are an infinite ocean of consciousness. And we are immortal beings who know no boundary or limitation. Now, if we were to surrender to that and understand that our main job is to enjoy it, it's not such a long journey home. Many a 
of life's circumstances are created by three basic choices. The disciplines we choose to keep, the people we choose to be with, and the laws we choose to obey. Charles Milkoff. That's quite true. Many of life's circumstances are created by three basic choices. The disciplines we choose to keep, we choose to keep, the people we choose to be with, and the laws we choose to obey. And we can instantly start improving our ability to respond to life with an absolute real joy, gratitude, by simply remembering one thing. We were born from an organism. We are supposed to be full of laughter, love, and a fun, sweet, spunky pizzazz. And yes, this energy is at the core of all of us. It is us the essential essence inside of each and every one of us. And discovering it is the answer to our life's greatest problem. We make this choice right now to embrace our organ orgasmic nature. If we want real transformation, always choose to be free from others' opinions of you. Always choose to be free from others' opinions of you. Be free from your opinions of you. And be free from God's opinions of you. If you thought she, he could have one, opinions are limiting ideas that try to define who we are and are heavy burdens to carry. Just imagine that we waved a magic wand over our heads and voila, you are free to be anyone you want to be and can change at any moment. And remember that our lives are short and so very precious. And not to waste it on trivial matters. Take this time in your lives to jump into what is the most important thing to you and go do it now. Now. If we were going to die in our sleep at the end of this week, what would we be doing with our life right now? Perhaps we would fully open our hearts and tell the people that we care about exactly how much we truly love them. Make the choice to step out of your comfort zone and take the risk to be real. Speak from your heart in every moment and see what happens. There is no limit to what we can manifest when we are free from the mind and aligned with the highest divinity inside of us. How will you know when you are truly free from your mind? Everything that you take on will feel as light as a feather. Remember that. How will you know when you are truly free from your mind? Everything you take on will feel as light as a feather. Every challenging person from your past will be an exciting opportunity for you to become a more loving, compassionate, and enlightened being. We are all free to open and venture through that lighter life door today. It's the same door that 
opens your heart and your soul to pure love. If we can comprehend this understanding for each and every one of us, and we turned a switch, and we realize that the this this life that we're in, and these bodies that we inhabit, to fully embrace the divinity of each and every one of us and who and what we are, we are the God. We are the divineness. Does it make any sense for us to go through these lives pretty much ignoring that and being so absorbed into the externality, the externality, new word, of all the stuff out there. All of it. And how it distracts us and pulls us in different directions. And how we've literally been inundated with we have to work our fingers to the bone and struggle and scrape and and just crawl and do whatever we can to get ahead. And how many times if you witness people in your lives that you have seen, maybe yourself, but you get to the point where you have expended so much effort at something that is literally a dead end, and, but when you get there, you realize that is this all there is? Because we've been pursuing everything outside of ourselves forever. And I'll tell you something, religion doesn't cut it. It is a man creation. This is the spirit within us. And only, only us, only each and every one of us can determine and can make that step for ourselves. No amount of external influence is going to convince any of us to do anything unless we decide to do it. You must decide. Nothing. Understand that anything that happens externally in your life, you decide on what to do with it. No one else does. Whether it's external influence trying to convince you to do this, this, and this, and out of fear you say, okay, I better do it. You're still deciding. You're still making a choice. See? You can either say, I'm not going to do that because I know this, this, and this. And I, I much prefer to go over here and to do this. This is about... This meditation is conveyed for all of us to stop the race. Stop the race. There's no race. There's no foot race that we're going to have to go out our front doors and go down the street and all line up and see who's going to win. It is about each and every one of us and the choice that we make. We either choose the divineness that we are, or we choose the ego. And I think all of you listening now understand that the ego isn't even a choice to make from what we know. It is to enjoy this life by embracing the divineness that each and every one of us are. It's like reaching in and finding the sweetest, most comforting, most protective, most nurturing, most loving and caring energy that you could possibly blend with. The joy, the exuberation, the bliss, the kindness, all of it. Completely without effort. It just is. Do you think you need an effort when you already are what you're seeking outside of yourself? You already 
are the love. You already are the trust. You already are the divineness, the bliss, the peace, the kindness, the generosity, and all of it. You're all of it. And all you're doing is, is you're saying, this is what I am. I am the God, the kingdom of God within me. I am divine. I am blissful. I will enjoy every single second of my life. My comfort, your comfort zone is your ego. See? Your ego keeps you from moving outside your comfort zone. It keeps you from moving outside. You go, oh, I'm, you know, it, and this is what happens. Oh, no, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not getting a good feeling about that. So I'm just, I'm just not going to, to uh, interact with it or, or, or go with it. I'm going to withdraw myself because it feels more comfortable to do that than to step outside myself. And this happens with anything. It's external. It can happen with anything that we aren't familiar with or that we start questioning, and the ego mind starts questioning. They say, oh, no, you don't want to do that, you know? And then you don't feel right about it because the ego mind is dictating to the heart mind, and that's where you get the emotion of saying, I don't feel comfortable. I don't, this doesn't feel right. I'm just not going to do it. These are all signals and signs. It's, it, it, it doesn't take concentrated understanding to know who and what you are, the divineness that you are, and these external authorities, and also the ego, the ego mind, that continually tries to keep you at bay. So, if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are, and the first thing that we want to do is we want to relax our bodies. And how do you relax the body? Well, each of us know where we have the stress, where we keep the, uh, where we keep all of the things that keep us discombobulated, the fear, the stress, the anxiety, all of those things. And we harbor them in different parts of our body. And once we surrender, and once we understand and have the trust that everything is wonderful, People say, well, you've got to be crazy because look at everything that's going on. See, this is where we're sucked into it. Within ourselves, everything is wonderful. It's magnificent. And that's the journey I've chosen to take and several others. So you relax the body. You surrender to the God that you are and the body reacts accordingly and it just lays back and everything floods off of you all of these stresses anything that you collect you may not even be aware of and as we relax the body we move into the now and everything happens in the now past present, the future, whatever you do in the now creates your future. Not what you did in the past, but we have the, 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 the weakness to go into our past because it's handy and drag it in to create our future. This is why so many people say, why do I find myself in the same position 20 years later that I was in 20 years ago? That's why, because we go into the past to create our future. In the now, everything happens. Only in the now, and only being in the now can you still the mind, the ego mind, the subconscious mind. We move into peace and serenity and stillness. This is what eliminates our judgment, judging, and ego, and all of these things. So as we relax the body, and we're in the now, we're going to want to breathe. And we want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in, nice, easy, nice, healthy inhale through the nose. Hold it 1,000.
nose in one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. And then exhale, breath out through the mouth. And this works wonderfully well. We want to do it at least six times while I'm talking. And for those of you who are new to this meditation and this now in the circle of life, the reason we hold our breath is to focus ourselves on the now. Because the breath is the now. It cannot be anything else. So as we breathe, we concentrate on our breathing that literally guides us into the now. Because all we're doing is concentrate on the breathing, listening to the breathing. And this stills the ego mind and the subconscious mind. The chatter is literally reduced to nothing. Now, as we breath in through the nose, we're breathing in divine positive energy. This is from source creation. This is from the collective consciousness of the universe and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond it forever. And it communicates, goes through our God and into the heart mind. Heart mind then responds if you are operating from the heart mind. Communication is, is that there is no race. This civilization has been whipped up into believing there's a race. You ever notice that? You ever notice why you get, you know, this, this hurriedness at times, this anxiety that you can't finish this, or you're not going to be able to be here at this time, or you're not going to be able to do that and do this? And you feel how it catapults you into further and further disarray? There is no race. We choose to go within ourselves and discover the wonderful, beautiful sweetness of the divinity that we are. And from that forward, all of this stuff, this worrying about how we're viewed and what we wear and where we go and how we live, it's just trivial stuff that occupies us to stay away from the God that we are. And when we fully embrace and understand that we are the divineness, always have been, always will be, then the true joy of this life begins. Because we look at everything with the deepest of gratitude, everything. Now, as we breath out, we're breathing out all of the the stuff that, well, I'm not comfortable with that. No, I've never done that before. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't, you know. And, and we just let it go. We're experienced enough in these lives to understand that this, there's no way to, why would we hang on to that? Why would we continue entertaining it? We wouldn't. And so you just flow. Everything is a flow. You see? And, the, the, you know, the, the old story that's been used forever, the tortoise and the hare, really exemplifies our choice. Do we do the externality, the externality of life? and incessantly follow all these dead ends and do it like there's no tomorrow and that we're in the, the, the race of our lives. And we must get there and finish quickly. Or do we let all that go and we just embrace ourselves and follow the journey within us and determine and figure out for ourselves that we are the love, we are the kindness, the peace, the joy, the bliss, everything that we have seeked outside of ourselves since this civilization was created. There's no race. There's just pure divinity, pure deep eternal love, deep gratitude. Now we're working and, and some fake we're playing and, and involved with the heart-mind. 
command chair. And it's how we navigate our light ships. We do not operate in the ego mind. We are operating in the, the through the heart mind. We also are merged with the kingdom of God within us. This, our home, is the essence of what we are. And we're all together. And we're all one. We also have those, such as the archangels, who have been with us since the beginning, who vibrated a different frequency than we do. And are always there with us. The cherubim, the archetypes, the seraphim, all of them. They're in the trillions. And they're all of the highest and deepest eternal love from the highest and deepest eternal love. Non-judging stillness non-ego, they're with us always. Same with the Ascended Masters. Kwan Yen, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, Saint Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Hell, Thought, Omoria, Medantia, all of them, many, many, many more. They, they, they are in God form, they've ascended out of body. We're God form in body. It's the only difference. They are with us all the time. So we merge, we're one. We're all one, we're all love. And hand in hand, arm in arm, we all form the circle of light around the equator of this planet Earth. And immediately, we create a field a flood, a saturation, a bubble, a sphere around this planet and around ourselves. It is made up of the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, purple, violet blue flaming light of Archangel Michael, the white fire, the, the purple transfuting flame, the violet ray, golden white pink light of prime source creator God, mother, father God, the feminine, and the masculine, source creation. This is such a high frequency that is maintained on this merging that the low frequencies cannot sustain themselves in that presence of such a high frequency. They dissipate and dissolve. Understand that. As long as we maintain high frequencies, we are in perfect harmony with the universe and the divineness of that which we are. We are protected 24-7. Now, as we begin to elevate above the planet, we decide to float above the body. And right at the crown chakra, where source creation energy is continually funneling through us, around us, And we just float there in total peace and stillness. And we're immediately, we're compelled to call on the other parts of source, creation, other parts of us, all the light energy beings that are in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in non-judgment, full compassion, non-ego, stillness, peace, tranquility, benevolence, generous, humble. And they come in the gugaplexes. One gugaplex will fill this universe. Many gugaplexes fill many universes. And they just flow in. And they join us, arm in arm, hand in hand, in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are.
are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God, light, energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, agartha, beneath earth, all of these civilizations, and only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment, non-ego, bliss, joy, peace, stillness, benevolence and tranquility, generous and humble. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of life. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the galactics and off-worlders. All of these civilizations, and there's many of them. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love, can join us in this meditation and this now in the circle of light. They have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. They are in full compassion and non-judgment, peace and joy, stillness, non-ego, benevolence, tranquility, kindness, generous and humble. And they come to billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this circle of light, in this now, in this meditation. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime, and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this circle of light, in this now. They're in full compassion and non-judgment. They're in peace, tranquility and benevolence, non-ego, stillness, generous, humble, joyous, and they come in the billions arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this meditation, this now in the circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. We are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and above and below this planet Earth and this now and this circle of light and this meditation. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the dolphin, the whale, the mermaid, the Pegasus, the Unicorn, the Centaur, the Minotaur, and many, many, many more. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They are in full compassion and non-judgment, peace, joy, non-ego, stillness, generous, humble, tranquil, benevolent, and they come in the trillions, shapes, forms,
forms, sizes, configurations, and colors of which we've never seen. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. It fills and saturates and floods the sacredness of all space, in all universes, in all existences. It is what creation is. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. We created this sphere. It's that center circle. It houses all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds of them in constant motion of the highest, deepest, eternal love frequency. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, all that there ever was, all that there has been, ever, beyond, and forever. Feel it flood your physical body. Saturate from head to toe, inside and out. Feel it flood the God, the kingdom of God within you. This is pure, deep, eternal love. There is no race for any of us. We are in the joy of joys. Therefore, our life is always a joy. To be in these bodies is always a joy. It is the deepest of deepest, deepest gratitudes that we stay in, that we are. Every step we take, every breath is a celebration, is a joy, is fun. This life is effortless if we choose it to be so. And when we discover the joy that we are, the joy will literally saturate us and move us in pure harmony throughout this life. Effortlessly. We will have connected deeply with source creation. We look down upon the planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life, all of the frequency and energy. And our intention is, is to communicate with their gods and to flood all of them with this deep eternal love and knowingness that you're the joy that you continually seek to obtain outside of yourself and therefore are constantly chasing and never obtaining. And the journey within you in the kingdom of God is all the joy that you can be. It is all the love that there is. It is all the peace, kindness, benevolence, tranquility, goodness, joy, generosity, humbleness, stillness, non-ego, non-judgment, full compassion. It's all within us. It is the kingdom of God. We are the kingdom of God. We are the God. We are all one, and we are all love. Join you in the meditation, I'll return to close this out.
trying to find a penny that's in your pocket, but you're looking everywhere else but your pocket. There's no race. We are the divineness that we seek. We travel within. We discover the kingdom of God that we are and the bliss and joy and elevate our frequencies and keep ourselves in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and enjoy every single second that we spend in these bodies, no matter what's outside. It's our choice. Take it with you the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning. We will have a holiday time for change call tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday, November 27th, 2019, Thanksgiving Eve. Goodbye.